let's do it like this. So I forgot my camera today and my tripod. So I'm gonna shoot this on my phone, which is ironic because today's Teacher Tip Tuesday is, what do you do about cell phones in class? I get a lot of questions uh, about what do you do with cell phones in class? Like kids have cell phones out, it becomes an issue. Because when cell phones are out, is someone recording you? Are they putting you on their Instagram stories? Are you ending up on Snapchat? Are you ending up on a live feed? Is there something going on in your room? Is there something going on in your room while you're covering another class? No one's paying attention to me, but that may or may not have happened recently. So here are a couple of really quick tips on how I deal with kids having cell phones in my class. Number one is give them a place to plug it in. So I have this long cord pluggy any thing over here and the students can just come in they can plug their phones in and then they don't have to deal with it the gig is if you plug it in I just need you to put it on silent just hit the little moon thing or turn your volume your ringer all the way down so no one has to hear it and then you are plugging it in and you're not allowed to touch it for the rest of the period until the end so you can't go from your seat and back and forth and back and forth to do this but it's in like a out of the way space in my room like well look. desks are all the way over here with Kent and sleeping Cephas and the plug is all the way over here so that it's not like a really quick grab. You're not that close to it. You'd have to cross the classroom to get to it. Side note, you hear a lot of YouTubers say that it's not about the equipment, but I mean, honestly, there's something to say. I'm, right now, I'm, I'm literally, this is on top of a milk crate and I'm lighting my face with the outdoor window. So, you know, it's a, it's a little bit about the equipment. The other thing about cell phones is you can't make it a big deal. If you hear a cell phone go off in class, when I first started teaching, I would say like, right now, whose phone was that? We're not moving on until I know whose phone that is. We're just gonna hold class up. And all you're doing is wasting everyone's time and making everyone laugh at you. So instead, I just say, if I hear a phone go off, yo, do me a favor and just turn that off real quick. That's it. Oh no, please report to the front office. Oh no, report to the front office. So I'm making YouTube videos here. So when you don't make a big deal out of it and you just tell the kids, you're not getting in trouble, just turn it off for me. That's it, and then it's done. Then it's not gonna happen again and it didn't make a big deal out of it. No one's sweating it. No one's worried about pulling out their phone or what happens if it goes off again or what if that text message dings again because you have an iPhone that likes to tell you everything twice like you weren't paying attention the first time. So just don't make that big of a deal out of it. Now look, if somebody has their phone out again and they already had their phone out before, there's a different way to handle with that. Let's see if some, I'm, you're, you're my frame. So if somebody has their phone out and they've already had it out multiple times this year, there's a couple of different ways that you can deal with that. Or if it's like a reoccurring theme. One, I'll just ask the student for it. First, you know, offense, I will just take your phone for the day uh, or for the period. I just hold on to it, I put it in my desk. I give it back to you at the end of the period and they don't make a big deal out of it. It's like, yo, just give it to me, I'll hold on to it because I want you to be able to focus because what we're doing is a review, because what we're doing is trying to read and you're clearly addicted to this phone and just like letting a kid know that you're doing it because you think it's important and not just because you're trying to have control over them wins and also letting them know, dude, I'm just holding on to it till the end of the period. And then that's it. If it happens more than that, I will sometimes take it and I'll hand it off to like a security guard or to someone in the office like Miss Cho or the vice principal. And then the kid has to go get it from then. So now I'm just building in a little bit of inconvenience. Dude, I'm not taking it forever. Just go see them afterwards because I want to make it more inconvenient for you. And I just tell kids that that's the deal. However, sometimes someone, you ask them to hand over their phone and they refuse to do it. I never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, get into a power struggle with a student over that. And I didn't think of that, but my friend Randy Rebuy told me that idea a long time ago that you should never get into a power struggle with students. And it just made a lot of sense. What you don't want to do is like, stand over them or like try and have a tug of war with them with their phone or something like that. It's just a pain in the butt. So I just don't do that. I say, you have three seconds to give me that phone. Or I will say, here's what that phone call is gonna sound like. Hello, Mr. or Mrs. So-and-so. I took, tried to ask your student for their phone today. I asked them several times to put it away. They refused and now they are refusing to hand over the phone until the end of the day or until the end of the period. So like sometimes letting the kid know exactly what that phone call is gonna sound like changes the outcome, right? It's like, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm not trying to be overbearing, but I do need what I need. Um, and this is what the phone call is gonna sound like with your parent. I like that the milk crate is creeping in on me here. Or I just write it up or I tell an administrator later, hey, I tried to take this kid's phone. This was a situation that was going on in class. They refused to hand it over. Can you help me deal with that? And my last bit of advice is a little weird. 
So the last thing that I do, and this is not, I'm not recommending that everyone do this. Cephas, let's ask Cephas. What are some things that I do when I take people's cell phones in class? Oh, I'm freaking freshman year. You did me dirty. Oh my goodness. Oh, I did one. Oh, all right, great. Twice this actually. That's perfect. So what he did was that you know, like the little like windows you have. Yes. Oh. He, <laughs> he, put, he put my phone on the window. My phone's like ten percent. I hate you for this too. And he said it on oh, no, the right Cho! Can you tell Cho I'm trying to make YouTube videos and she's doing too much over here, all right? No, they already called that kid once. What is he, lost? Maybe he got kidnapped. That's not funny. So, so what did I do? You recorded You recorded my phone. You, 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 made, you recorded the parking lot all day and my phone died. So when I charged it, I did it. I did a time lapse though, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, exactly. It's so, pretty cool to watch and though. Also, what you did, you being taller than me at the time, you had, you like, you hid my phone somewhere, and you had it in a place that was obscurely taller than taller than me. See, look, look at this now. <laughs> you mean slightly taller? I know. No, in what world? Yeah. In what I was, world like, was, I was I like, taller I was than like, you are? I was like right here. I think you had like longer you arms. Were never right there. Yes, I was. So that's a true story. Um, I've also been known for taking kids' phones and wrapping them in paper towels, and then wrapping them in duct tape, and then wrapping them in paper towels, and then wrapping them oh, in yeah. duct tape. I was going to, right? I've also turned, just put it in my drawer and turned on someone's flashlight. I have taped them high up on the wall where I know they're not gonna fall, but I wrapped them in paper towels, then I put them up on the wall and taped them high. I've also hid them in my bookshelves. So that looks like this. So I hide it in one of these bookshelves and then a kid has to step outside. They then have 60 to 90 seconds to try and find their phone. If they don't do it in time, then I keep it till the end of the day, but that's the risk that you run. I've also hidden it in lockers. So a kid has to find it in a certain locker and they only have a set amount of time or no. they only have a certain number of lockers that they can pick. There's Come on. like 400 lockers in this school. Yeah, well, you know, it's like a game show, except There's you're winning back your own crap though? instead of other stuff. I have a question for you guys real quick. Here's my question, because someone watching this is gonna not like these ideas that I had at the end, which is fine. It is not for everyone, and not everyone should do that. Do you seriously take offense like when I've done that, or like how does it make you feel if I take your phone and do something weird with it? It right. is what it is. It, it honestly, because like it's like it's my it's my fault for being distracted and being on my phone in the first place. It has nothing to do with race or anything like that. It's just a habit you made. We don't discriminate. Exactly. We don't discriminate. You just made it about race. I didn't bring up race. Yeah, exactly. Just exactly. what? So do you? I, I feel like it's just fair punishment, but you shouldn't be on your phone in the first place. Yeah. You're covering his face with your phone now. See, this is why you should be on your cell phone. Can't even see him in the back. Bro. So if I took your phone and I hid it in the bookshelves and then you had to come in, you had 60 seconds to find it. And then if you didn't find it, I kept it for the rest of the day. I feel like it's just the rules of the game. You can either one, be on your phone. And I don't understand how you try to be discreet with your phone out because it's kind no of No one is. Everyone always does this move. Yeah. Where it's like, unless you have like a broken neck, like your neck should not be like, it's so obvious. If, if you just say, I don't allow phones in my class. Oh, I'll send my phone out. It's going to be a consequence. With consequences, you're going... People are not gonna like Do you think all like kids that. know the reason that they're not supposed to be on their phones? No, you don't reason. think so? I don't know the reason why. It's because I don't want to. But why do you know why teachers don't want you on your phones? Like do you feel like that's made less clear? Than, less than taking away from the class it is a distraction. Mm -hmm. Do you know it's a safety hazard also? Oh. How? Like who's to say that if you're not FaceTiming someone outside of school and they want to come in and like do something devious? Well, I don't want to give people ideas here, but that's why also. Guys, this is Spence, by the way. He's a freshman. How tiny his head is. All right, are we ready to leave? All right, th this is the thumbnail right here. Want to be in the thumbnail, Spence? All right, come on, you need to be a celebrity. Cool. Can you stop putting your hands in front of his face? What is wrong with you? Can you take a picture? Just look at the, there you go. That's like not the hardest thing that ever happened. Yo. All right, ready? Three, two, one. The bottom line here that someone's gonna miss along the line here possibly is that it's never about control. It's never about just doing something because you said so. It's always about explaining it to students, breaking it down, and then trying to have fun with it too because sometimes punishments, well, they just suck and then it just makes kids more aggravated, right? But if you hide someone's stuff, they're just not, they can't be aggravated with you because you just taped their phone to a wall somewhere in a hallway and it was great. Cephas, I don't even know what you're doing. Why is your hand, why is your hand in here? That's it, everybody. Have a great week. Demonetized. Demonetized.